Hello YouTube, hello boys and girls, I'm Morphin and you're watching my Napoleon Let's Play together with the Dart Mode on maximum difficulty settings. I have just captured Moldova and Bezabria will destroy their army encampment here and probably build a cannon foundry. So I can no I can I will, I will probably build a cannon foundry in Valachia, Bucharest. I will decide about it next turn. Let's build a supply post. I really do need it since my army have a quite slow replenishment rate. Upgrade the farms and infrastructure. Uh, trading port upgraded into a commercial. And I can also upgrade some other ports. I don't have enough cash. So let's cancel. Let's cancel this. Dockyard. Mm, no, I don't need a dockyard or a dry dock. You can see that with a dry dock I can recruit quite powerful ships. 86 gun ship of the line. My man. 74 gun ship of the line. No, I will change the building type into a trading port I really do not need a powerful navy and if I do get a need for a navy I can easily fight with the ships recruited from a trading port or a commercial port I will not be a naval power probably never and that's not my goal so I'm quite fine with commercial ports mm, ba -ba -bum. all right so my short-term plans are definitely to capture the Istanbul and the Bucharest let's send my spy over there and see what Ottoman Empire have inside their huge empire sabotage the farm and now I can end the turn but let's recruit some units I need some light infantry that's for sure I should check out my diplomatic relations with Russia. I don't want to get surprised in the near future if they declare war on me. And that's quite possible, but it's also possible to maintain that alliance until the end of the game. If you're playing carefully, of course, you don't want to offend them in any way. But if they, if they decide to declare war on you, there's no need to be afraid they are technologically most advanced nation at this moment but the Russian Empire uh, nothing can compare with the Russian Empire when you consider the numbers so numbers are on your side you have a higher income more cash oh and now you can see the problem I definitely need more ships if I want to do control those two trade nodes that will definitely rise my income a lot you can see that Ottoman Empire have a really weak weak Navy their trade ships are much weaker than mine hull strength of 120 while my hull strength is 800 so eight times my hull is stronger than theirs and I of course they have only three guns in the trade ships I have 12 so firepower is definitely on my side but with only one ship all I can do is a retreat or fight and lose Workers on strike. 
Czech, Moldova and Zabria. Let's turn off the taxes. Try to keep them under control. Uh, probably a good choice would be to build a tax office or also a theater because theater also rises the happiness but it also rises the town wealth per turn. Let's build a theater. Theater. My supply post needs two more turns. Recruitment report. I have recruited one trade ship here. And you can see that commercial port also gives you quite strong ships. 80 gunship of the line, 64 gunship of the line, 74 gunship of the line. So even with a commercial port, you have quite powerful ships. And if you are not planning to control the sea, uh, you don't even need a dry docks. Let's go with 38 gun frigate for now, just to have something. merge those armies together uh, where is my oh here they are stationed in uh, Hungary they probably cannot do nothing by their own but they can easily be merged with more units from a little Tatary Should recruit more militia in Moldova just to keep public order under control. Let's try to sabotage something. Oh. Then move deeper inside the autumn. Oh, you can see what I was talking about. They have much more troops than they were showing. Intellectual center. All right, this is the part of the Ottomans that I want to focus on. Workers riot. Uh, population killed 1172. Alright. I hope that public order should be fine now. Only one more turn for a supply post. A new nation arises. Swiss Confederation Construction Report. Can I assassinate the gentleman? 53%? No. Oh, I will not risk my, my spy with a subterfuge skill of 3. Let's level him up a bit more. Maybe sabotage something 95% to sabotage intellectual center. Where is 
this army from Austria. I will attack Bukurest, but I will stay hidden in this forest. Light forest, light forest. Oh, I can. I can sneak my troops all the way to the Bukurest, and that's good. We'll try to keep them hidden in the forest for as long as I can. But uh, the problem with the Ottoman Empire is Islam. I have a luck that in Moldova Islam is only at 20%. So I should be able to keep that under control. Let's recruit more units from Little Tatari. Some Lancers. No, I don't want to pay upkeep for them. Let's let's do something better. Where is my upgrade those barracks here? I'm not sure I'm not sure is it worth to upgrade lodging camp into a lumber mill I don't think so because five turns and then you need to pay 1600s maybe it is if you're planning to build a lot of ships maybe I can do I have one in in little Tatari, lodging camp, no, no lodging camps, quite large province, Let's proceed with the recruitment. I need I need line infantry. I need light infantry and I need lancers. And of course I do need the cannons, but cannons can be recruited from faraway provinces. I will try to capture the Bukurest in uh, next two turns. I'm laying down the ambush. So Bukurest will definitely fall down soon and We'll try to upgrade it. For recruitment of cannons. And this is what I was afraid of. Ottoman Empire merging all of their units. Trying to defend the land. Nation destroyed. A recruitment report and a construction report. Alright, my supply post is done. Will not upgrade it anymore. Because I'm quite fine with this. Can I can I take over the Bukurest? Mm, no. No, I will need two turns to to even get to even lay down the siege and they have a quite large army here. I will wait. 
uh, just a little bit naval recruitment let's continue with the recruitment of 38 gun frigates and some trade ships how many recruitment slots do I have here no, only one. Only one. Ah, that's bad. not hidden oh yeah they are all right let's keep them let's get closer I wanna be one turn away from the Bucharest and I think this is the right distance my agent can I can I assassinate the general somehow no I probably can't I'm always trying to stay active with my agents currently I have only one spy but we'll try to do as much missions as I can so he will level up faster and will be more useful in a time because in a Napoleon and Empire agents were not so important as they are now in a Rome 2 and even in a Shogun 2 they were really important but back then, in the time of Napoleon, agents was not your primary type of units on a campaign map. seems like Ottoman Empire is preparing a huge attack ancillary gain minister plus to happiness recruitment report construction report My army is replenished, so that should mean no problems for me. Maybe I can attack them now. And that would be an interesting fight. Can I take over the Bucharest? Let's check out what they have inside. It's quite empty. I think I can win. Yeah, I can. Let's attack. And this is the battle that you will see. I'm attacking one unit of irregulars, but they have a reinforcing. 1600 men. Let's quick save and attack. <laughs> 